deep within northeastern Siberia, sheltering on the tundra and feeling winter's first ice, is the redneck stint. It's July, and these small birds are preparing to fly south for the warmer weather. This is a journey they will take every year over the course of their lives and hundreds of thousands of kilometers along the East Asian-Australasian flyway. A lifetime journey that is the equivalent distance from the Earth to the Moon. Korea, Japan, China and Vietnam provide important layovers to feed and rest. But with each passing year, these once intact habitats are slipping away. As our cities grow, these birds have fewer places to rest on their long and perilous journey. For countless generations, the stints have taken this flyaway passage to Australia and New Zealand. Here, they feast at the mudflats along Hobson's Bay's coastline, filling their bellies with mollusks, gastropods and tiny crustaceans, recuperating in the safety of the salt marsh and mudflats. But our own backyard presents challenges for the redneck stints. Dogs off leash and people walking in these sensitive habitats can frighten the birds. Predators like cats, foxes, and at times overpopulation of some native species like little ravens make their stay one for caution. We all have a significant part to play in welcoming these tired travelers to our shores. And by increasing our awareness and changing some behaviors around these important guests, we can conserve our natural habitats, not only for the redneck stints, but for all bird life in our local area.